Hello everyone, welcome back. As you've probably read in the title of this video, today we are reviewing the Honmar TWX T slash slash world golf balls. These have kindly been given to me by one of my subscribers, Andy, who uh, plays and practices up here at Kingswood Golf Centre. We're out here on course today, we're probably going to get three or four holes in. We're going to look to see if these golf balls are any good and if they match up to the main manufacturers. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jack, this is Jack Lee Golf. If this is your first time, do all the usuals, like, share, subscribe, you know what to do. As you may have seen in those couple of little clips there, uh, it's very hard for me to get information from the packet of this golf ball, because it's all in Chinese. Might as well be bloody Chinese. Um, it does say improve feel extraordinary distance. That sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, type of ball, um, struggling with as we are distance and swing speed. The swing speed is very um, specific there, isn't it? 89.4 mile an hour. Does that mean if you don't swing at 89.4 mile an hour, you won't be able to use these golf balls? 40 meters per second as well. Who's measuring the swing speed in meters per second? Absolutely crazy. Fortunately, however, we do have the internet to give you some information on this golf ball. So they are retailing for around 24.99, which is very uh, competitive i think in the market for what Hummar is saying this golf ball is going to offer main overview of this golf ball improved feel with extraordinary distance the Hummar twx is a three-piece golf ball for players with a moderate swing speed around 40 meters per second a new high repulsion ionomer provides low spin off the driver for increased distance high initial velocity with a new combination core offers great ball speed offers greater ball speed and exceptional control while the 326 dimple Pattern design results in a low penetrating ball flight. The spin urethane cover offers extreme spin on green side shots. Some of the features. Three-piece golf ball, as they have just mentioned, the repulsion ionomer, which does sound mint, doesn't it? 326 dimple design, high inertial velocity core, soft feel spin urethane cover. So, you're thinking urethane cover, you're thinking slightly lower spinning, so this is probably going to be more like a Pro V1X than a Pro V1, for $24.99. What's the catch? Thankfully, I'm here on course to find out. And I shall be starting on the 11th here at Kingswood. I have got a different pair of waterproofs on today than what I normally use. Um, my Galvin greens are in the wash, so I've got these and... And I don't know, comment below, do you think I look a bit like MC Hammer? They are quite baggy, aren't they? But they're keeping me, me bottom of my legs dry, so that's the main thing. 11th tee, par 4, about 380, 390. I've got three wood, so let's see how this goes. Well, due to what they've mentioned, I'm looking for a slightly lower flight. Lower flight than usual, my three wood, so... Not necessarily lower, but a nice shot, it's just down the right hand side. I think it'll play, it's just near the middle of three trees, but yeah, nice shot, felt okay off the face, so decent start. Right, we've got about 140 to the flag here, so I'm gonna go pitching wedge. No flags on the greens today, corona rules, so I'm just aiming for the middle of the green. We're a little bit heavy that one, could be a tiny bit short. Very short, that was chunky. Gives me a good opportunity to test the short game capabilities of this golf ball now though. Hole is very much back left, so coming up short right were a great, great miss by me there. A little bit of check on that one, just towards the back edge of the green. It weren't too bad that actually. Weren't the greatest of swings, but a bit of check, which is always good. It's a bit longer than I wanted to leave my sand, but nevertheless. Well, it's a disappointing five to start, but so far, ball feels pretty nice, so. Right, so we've skipped ahead to the 16th now. This is a pretty demanding par five, pretty demanding off the tee. It's quite narrow, so it'd be good to see how ball holds up, or how I hold up, because that's what it's all about, isn't it? That were a nice one, just down the right-hand side. Bit of a draw, back into the middle now. Nice, felt okay that. Uh, Feel-wise, it don't feel super, super soft. So far, so good. I mean, 25 quid. I would say it's better than your Frix and Soft Fields and your AD Triple Threes, which aren't too far off that price. So it, it very much feels for me like, remember the TaylorMade Project A's from a few years ago? I think that's the closest ball I've felt that would branch the gap between premium and, and non-premium. So, but considering the urethane cover and everything else, this, this is a premium ball for 25 quid. So, right, so this is where my drives ended up, left-hand side of the fairway. Um, because there's no flags and it's very hard for me to bushnell anything, I've actually gone on um, 
Golf Shot, which is a really good app. I probably recommend that you guys get it if you haven't got a GPS or a Bushnell, anything like that. As you can see from the image that I'm going to pull up on screen now, I've got 184 yards. So you think it's playing 525 off the yellows, I've got 184 left. It's, uh, <laughs> it's gone a pretty fair distance, that. I don't know if this is 525 or not, though. I'd say, I reckon it plays more like 484, 70. So I would presume that's like a 290 drive, which is very much my average when I get out here on course. And I've got 184 to the middle left. So let's go, let's go six iron. And I'm just going to try and hold this one up, almost play like a bit of a, a fadey one. Lovely strike, just on right side at green. Very straight in flight, what's it like for length? Yeah, middle to back edge I'd say, that one. Super, feel lovely, feel lovely these balls. One thing that I will say to you guys is don't fall for the, don't fall into the trap of thinking that some golf balls go straighter than others because they just don't. It's a combination of where you strike it on the club face and how you control in your face to pass. Some golf balls are very sneakily marketed as saying that these are straighter. It's not the case, it's whatever you do will very much, 99% of the time, dictate the straightness. Main things I tend to look for when I'm doing a golf ball test is spin control, uh, trajectories, distance control, stuff like that. Overall, consistency. Consistency is always the big one with me. I just want to know that when I make a swing, this is going to happen. And of course, you always look to the condition of the golf ball as well, see how much it's cutting up and all that kind of stuff. So it looks as though we're on the green and it looks as though we've got an eagle putt. So hopefully get back up under par after that bit of a shambles of the last hole. Pacey. Uh, oh my god, I weren't leaving that one short, were I? Nicely, nicely tidied up for a four. Back to level part, I meant that a lot harder than what I should have done racing that first put by. Again, it's good. I mean, um, on we've only had one wedge shot so far, but so far, you know, it's, it's looking pretty much like brand new. I'll show you guys at the end of these four holes that we're going to play the condition of the golf ball, but so far it's good. Soft as well. Right, 17th hole now. Let's see what golf shot is saying for the GPS. 157, 157 to the middle of the green. So one thing I like to do, as you guys may know, is flight my irons down sometimes. With this ball saying that it's a lower trajectory golf ball, that should help me to do that. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna try and go a little bit lower in flight this time. So just like a 90% punchy type shot, this one. Oh yeah, that were a good flight. I don't know about distance, might be a little bit short. It is short, it was super flight though. Club selection a little bit wrong then, I don't really account for going uphill, um, but flight wise I like that, it was just, just where I wanted to see it. I love a good sight line, I'm using this 10 foot and under with my putts. That's what we've got with the TWX, so I mean preferably if I were to game these I would probably draw a line over the top of that line with my little line up system that I've got but as a visual it's very much like the Pro V1 with the like the arrows at the end of the black line in between the writing but you know what if you're going to copy a ball you might as well copy the Pro V aren't you cool all right nice pass to level 18th hole next last one let's see if we can make a birdie and finish this under par right then 18th hole now level par uh, similar to the 16th was that point that my audio decided to stop working so as you can see 18th hole it says 496 on the car but for some reason it was playing a little bit shorter it was 436 i hit this tee shot just down the left hand side you can see me looking pretty nervous as it traveled down the left hand side but it's actually all right here's where that shot ended up i had about 170 left in i hit it a little bit chunky played towards the right hand side because that's a safe side to go on on the 18th left me a little bit short here's the pitch shot Caught it very nipped. I thought it was going to spin a lot and come up short, but it had quite a nice bounce and kicked it forward like slightly closer to the hole. Here's a putt, it was about a 20 footer. Just missed it on the left side, went about four or five foot by, and I was luckily enough to uh, hold the one coming back in. So, final thoughts on this golf ball for $24.99, it's absolutely superb quality. Um, definitely better than your equivalents, I think, in the market like Strix and Softfields AD Triple Threes. Is it as good as the Pro V? Probably not, but for the money, extremely good value for money. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you're doing the usuals, liking, sharing, subscribing. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Until then, keep it real. Later, bye.